Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this blog, I want to cover the basics of the new AEC Export Wizard tool in SOLIDWORKS 2015. So it's common for manufacturers of heavy equipment, furniture, and elevator equipment to need to export their designs from SOLIDWORKS to some AEC software or Architectural Engineering and Construction Software. We also sometimes hear the acronym BIM, which stands for Building Information Modeling. Same thing. So there's typically three different steps that, um, or tasks that need to be involved with exporting this to AEC software, and those are now covered in a new wizard interface for this export to AEC. The first one is to orient the model to coordinate systems that match the AEC software based on placement, whether it's floor-based, ceiling, or wall-based. Then we just need to give it a mounting plane and vertex to set how it's going to be dropped in. Next is to defeature the uh, model based on needs for either improved performance, reduced file size, or for protection of intellectual property. We have a basic drop-down list for high, medium, or low, but if we pick custom, it brings us into some defeature steps. The first being to remove components. Notice that these are um, check boxes and not radio buttons so that um, we can pick different options. We can pick all three or just one and then remove some components by suppressing them and hiding them from our export. I've picked uh, um, small components based on the bounding box of my model so anything that's smaller than 6% size of the bounding box of this assembly will be removed. Once that happens I can continue to select things based on different check marks. I can tell it to exclude certain um, components from being removed and I can also section it based on a section plane to help take a look at some components that are internal to my design. Thank you SOLIDWORKS, that's a great one. So maybe I want to hide some of the parts within my assembly. I'll pick them, update, and those will also be suppressed. The next step in defeaturing is to um, remove features such as holes, but this screen is telling it well, maybe there's some features that I really want to keep. So for instance, if I have a hole here that maybe is going to interface with a, a pipe or vent in the next level, I don't want that removed. So I'll select that and then I'll click Next and it will remove all holes except for the ones that I've specified. I then get a nice preview of the part and I get the chance to remove any parts of any of my features for that model that maybe didn't get removed as part of that last operation. We can see most everything has been removed except for the ones that I specified. So we can go on to the final stage which is saving it in the proper format. In this case meaning the ASUS SAT format. So I can pick that format, save it, and we're all done with exporting to AEC. It's been a quick overview, and thanks for watching.